Hey Siri, what should everyone do while watching my video? Hit the subscribe button and the bell next to AJ170's name so you never miss a video. Hey guys, what is up? This is AJ170 and today guys inside this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get basically every single possible console on the iOS 9, 10, and 11. This includes anywhere from the NES to arcade games all the way to the PlayStation 1 including all the things in between Sega, PlayStation Portables, Nintendo 64, and so many more different things guys. Credit to Alex, there will be a link to his Twitter inside the description, guys. He is an amazing guy, I highly recommend following him. He makes finds a lot, a lot of good things on iOS. A lot of things I never really made videos on. But anyways, guys, before I jump right into this video, can I get 170 likes? Also, if you guys are new, support the 170 and subscribe. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump right into this video, guys. I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys over on my iPhone now. Alright guys, so as you see I'm on my iPhone. Now you're going to go to the link inside the description, load this website. When you get this pop-up, hit OK. Wait a few more seconds, then go ahead and hit Install. Now I already have it installed, so I don't have to click that again or anything else. Then you can go ahead and use Happy Check. So I'm going to be right back because that recording did crash. So now when I try to open it, as you guys can see, you'll get that untrusted, uh, whatever the hell it says. I can't, I can't remember. I have work in a couple, I have about, I have to go to work in about 40 minutes from now, so I'm trying to hurry up and do this. So anyways, once you guys are going to do is you want to open up the settings to get this app to open. Once the setting app fully opens up, you guys are going to scroll down and look for the general tab. Once you guys see the general tab, go ahead, click on general. Then once you guys click on general, scroll down until you find profiles device management. Scroll down to the enterprise app section of it. Then go ahead, find the uh, little enterprise and hit trust. Hit trust again. And then wait for it to change like this and then it should be working. So now what we can do is we can go ahead, open up the app, and I'll even play a few games just to show you guys that this is fully working, and that from this app right here, it literally has every single emulator built in. So right here, you can go ahead and click Agree. Once you guys click Agree, the app should go and continue loading up. Hit that Skip button the top right-hand corner. This is up to you guys. You don't have to. You can do it if you want. I hit Yes because why not? So now what we can do is we can scroll through here, and we can find the game that we want to play. So what I like to do is we scroll up so we get the little tab back, we can go to category, and it organizes the games by category as you guys can see right here. We can select any category our hearts desire, and I can go ahead and hit obtain or whatever I want to do. So first I'm actually going to show you guys a couple of different categories like PlayStation, uh, PSP, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, even the older systems like uh, MDA bunch of other things so if I go ahead and hit this search bar I can go ahead and type in Mario and I'm gonna go ahead and look for a specific Mario ROM they even have hacked Mario games guys or modded Mario ROMs whatever you guys want to call them my favorite one is the Mario Bros mix and that's probably my favorite one out of all of them so if we go ahead and wait and it looks like where is it should be coming up any second now there is right here there's two different ones actually but let's go ahead and download both of those modded ones and try them both out, guys. So we can go ahead and hit obtain, then we can hit download, and it'll automatically start downloading. We can do the same thing again with the one above it. You cannot put in your own custom game setting unless you have a computer, guys, or you're able to view the files with a jailbreak or whatever. But, uh, yeah, so you can get all the games right here without fear and all that. It is pretty useful. And as you guys can see, the game does load and it plays perfectly fine. I'll play just a few seconds of it to show you guys that it works great. So I'm going to go ahead and have to hit the start button to start it up. Let's wait a couple of seconds. And uh, there we go. Now we're actually playing the game. I'll play a little bit of the first level just to show you guys it. I kind of like the character choose thing. I think that's really cool and unique. That'd be cool if Mario had that, like the actual normal Mario games, like without but with it being vanilla. But uh, let's keep jumping over here until I die or I get bored. Go down this little tube right here. Get all these coins. And now let's figure out how to stop it. And I do not see a quit button. I have no idea how to quit out of this. And let's try hitting that power button right there. There's a little power button in the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to try hitting that once. Hopefully that will work. There we go. That brought us out. Hit return and let's go ahead and show you guys the new one. Or not really a new one, just a different one that's there, guys. So 
let's play a few seconds of this one just to show you guys that this one is also fully working. And as you guys can see, this one is also playable, and they run nice and smooth. I don't know if it's any laggy for you guys or not, but for me, when I recorded it, it ran perfectly fine. That cheated right there, that was supposed to stay down, this is a shitty ROM. And that was bullcrap, I'm done with this game. So anyways guys, as you can see, it worked perfectly fine, but that is going to be just about it for this video guys. This is AJ170 signing out, see you guys next time.